Welcome to the station model overview video. In several of your labs, you will be going through and either making your own station model uh, with weather observations you've made, or you will be um, interpreting those that are on uh, websites or uh, worksheets or on a weather map that you'll be given. So some basics, so a station model uh, shows you all of the weather for a specific day and time for a specific city. So in the image that you'll see in the lower right corner, the center of the circle is usually over the city that the station model is showing you the weather for. All of these different symbols uh, refer to all of these various um, weather elements. Um, some uh, websites that will be helpful to uh, use are these two I have linked in this video. They're also linked in the course website. If I go back here and show you, um, we have uh, the weather symbols link tells you um, kind of what each item means. Also some keys showing you what each symbol means. Um, you also have the other website over here, which gives you a little tutorial of what each element uh, refers to, and then a little blurb at the bottom with some of the symbols for each. Um, the weather symbols website here has a bit more information, especially when it comes to the different types of clouds. So if we go back here to our presentation, to walk you through each one, so on your station model, your temperature, it's going to be located right where we see this red circle. So 52 is going to be the air temperature at that time, uh, which is going to be 52 degrees Fahrenheit. We go to our dew point. You see circled here is going to be 46 degrees Fahrenheit. These are always going to be in that specific location on this uh, station model. So any the number that you see in this position is going to be the dew point. Any that you see up here where the 52 is is going to be the temperature. So cloud cover is represented by that circle that you see, um, and that's where, um, depending on what shading you see in that circle, it's going to represent a different amount of cloud cover. And here, if we use the, the websites that I showed you before, this one would be broken or six-eighth of the sky covered in clouds. Next would be cloud type. This specific model doesn't have one. Um, that means uh, either uh, we didn't have anyone available to record what the clouds were, um, maybe you couldn't tell what types of clouds they were, or um, there weren't any at all, which obviously from the 6 to 8 cloud cover there were clouds, so the type just wasn't visible or recorded. So wind direction is going to be the arm that you see. So this straight line sticking out, that's telling you the wind is coming from the southeast. So it's always going to be that bar, and it's always telling you where the wind is coming from. Wind speed refers to the feathers, you might call these, that stick out off of the side. If you go back to that website, it will tell you what that specific amount of feathers means. Um, and in this case here, we have 20 to 32 kilometers per hour. And those charts that you have list off um, the speed um, for that symbol in various different units. So if you want miles per hour, kilometers per hour, knots, so those should all be in those diagrams. Visibility, uh, this tells you how far you can actually see. So in this case here, it is one and a half miles. So that is always going to be telling you how many miles away you can actually see. So pretty low visibility uh, for this station model. Air pressure. Air pressure is going to be these three numbers that you see at the top. This is um, coded. So in order to interpret what that actual air pressure was, um, you're going to need to add a number to the front. So to save space on these models, what they've done is dropped the first number or two and removed a decimal point. So uh, when you're decoding your air pressure, in this case here we have a zero for our first number, that means we're going to put a 10 in front of that. If that first uh, digit is a 6, 7, 8, or 9, then you add a 9 to the front. Um, and in either case, you're going to put a decimal point in there. 
So this one is going to end up being 1,004.6 millibars. You're going to be doing this uh, in practice on your lab for week one. And then when you're making your station models for all your future labs, you're going to be doing this as well. The air pressure trend you can see here circled. Um, this also is coded, so we have a symbol telling you what the pressure trend is over three hours, and then how much the pressure has changed. You'll see either a plus or a minus, referring to either rising or falling. And then here, the 23, what they have done also is drop the decimal point in between. So for this, we have increasing, so the plus sign tells us that the pressure has been increasing by 2.3 millibars, and then it was steady. And so the symbol that you see here shows you increasing and then steady over time. And this is going to be that three-hour pressure trend. And then the last is the current weather. There are various symbols for things like fog, hail, rain, heavy rain, snow, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, those websites have a key that tells you what those different symbols are. And for this one, this means moderate rain. So this is kind of the, the end of our overview of station models. Um, it's very helpful to have those websites bookmarked. So that way you have um, a, a resource to use as you're making these models every single week. If you have any questions, as usual, please email me.